Alright, I'm back with a video on Zigbee and the reason being is I was interested in how to capture uh, record or sniff Zigbee packets uh, with applications that were in DragonOS with a, a software defined radio such as the HackRF. I started out first with Mirage which uh, had the ability well to do what I was looking to do with both the RZ USB stick and the HackRF Got excited about the RZ USB stick and quickly found out it doesn't seem you can buy them anymore. Probably long gone. I then tried the HackRF and it is uh, listed as having a sniffing and injecting capability. It, it sort of uh, worked with the uh, sniffing, uh, but that's something I'm going to come back around and look into why it wasn't working exactly how I had hoped. And then I remembered that I had this uh, CC2531 chip that actually works uh, really well um, in Kismet and so it can uh, sniff Zigbee and and, uh, and totally works in Dragon OS uh, with Kismet uh, but I still wanted to do something like I said with the software defined radio like the HackRF and I recall uh, sorry jumping around here but I recall I had a uh, smart things hub uh, old version 3 so I dug it out got it set back up looked up on the FCC to see what frequencies uh, that it um, was using and what channels and how the channels like line up here you can see in this table I went ahead and configured after reading because I couldn't figure out where to change the channel and I realized you had to set your account back up and smart things you go in and under my hubs and view utilities and I was able to change the channel I went ahead and changed it to channel 12 and uh, kind of jumping around a little bit, sorry, but I got to talking uh, with a gentleman here that uh, I have his GitHub page pulled up. He has converted a lot of, probably, I don't even know, like three-quarter of the GNU Radio out of tree modules um, back uh, kind of early on when GNU Radio had uh, switched over to 3.10 and grabbed a lot of those out of tree modules and converted them over from say GNU Radio 3.7 or 3.8 over to 3.10 so greatly appreciated that he did this um, remake of the the flow graph here in this GNU Radio Wireshark example not very explanatory uh, the, the person that originally created this repo but it's kind of interesting because it uh, captures and sends uh, to Wireshark with this WPAN dissector using RF tap okay um, probably should point out uh, this IEEE 802.15.4 that is also in Dragon OS so the gentleman uh, different gentleman that does uh, the uh, few out of tree or uh, a bunch of out of tree modules here that I've got in Dragon OS he also is doing the future SDR uh, that uh, out of tree module is in here and while I'm talking about this I want to make sure uh, that we get all on the same page here and so what I would suggest doing is uh, going into this IEEE 802.15.4 uh, in case you want to run some of these flow graphs and check out the maintenance 3.10 because I don't think I have that by default in Dragon OS. I'll probably do a deb package and update that for those that are uh, set up with the PPA but if you want to do it manual you should be able to just do a git checkout and it'll let you know that uh, you switched and you could then I'm gonna remove the build directory and I'm gonna make a build directory change in it for those that would like to rebuild this this is how you do it I know I'm going kinda of quick here but sudo cmake space dot dot and we'll do sudo make j and I'll, I just throw in that I have eight cores I'll let this finish okay and let's do a sudo check install and the reason why I'm doing this is because I have built these as dev packages and installed them in Dragon OS you should be okay going through the default uh, 
except in the default and we're going to call this because this is what I called the package in Dragon OS. We'll change the name here. All right, we got the name, new version is fine, just goes off the date. Do you want me to list them? No. Nope. Should I exclude them? Yes. And this uh, should install over top of what's already in DragonOS, and we'll end it with a sudo ld config. Probably not really needed in this case. So big thing that that changed was in the examples here. Uh, some of these flow graphs have been updated for 3.10, so just good to get on the same page. And then the other dependency that we need here, which is sitting in DragonOS, uh, but I have to I have to check the default ISO. Uh, because I'm not certain that it's um, installed by default. So let's go into the user source GR RF tap. And I had already built this a second ago. So let's just pretend you don't have the build directory. Make uh, that build directory, change directory into it, sudo cmake. And I'm having to run sudo because I'm not the root user and we're, of course, in the user source directory. This is a quick build here, really quick. We'll do a sudo ld config. So the same steps a few times and you should be fine. Now we should have our dependencies set up for this other flow graph that we're actually, you know, one other thing I should point out in the user source GRI triple E 15. Uh, if you go into examples, say you want to run these flow graphs here you need to open the higher block and create it. And so how do you do that? Well, do GNU Radio Companion IEEE. I'll just do the one here, the qpsk.grc. Make the screen a little bit bigger. If you open that, you shouldn't have any errors on here and you should just be able to hit play. That'll create the necessary block here when you want to use some of these flow graphs in your home uh, directory and a hidden, well, a hidden directory dot GRC GNU radio. That's important. Otherwise, if you open up some of these flow graphs, you're going to have missing blocks. Okay. Now let's grab this new flow graph here and we'll just keep it simple. We'll go home dragon desktop, do a git clone. And we're going to change into that GNU Radio example, change into source. And we'll do GNU Radio Companion Wireshark. Open up that flow graph. Okay, a couple things I had noticed. I'm not sure what the this key nom freak is and why there's a particular issue there. But it seemed to be fine if I disable this block and I go straight from the LQI over... Uh, to the RF uh, tap encapsulation. Also note that uh, there's a Wireshark connector that's on and uh, sending to a uh, PCAP file in your temp directory. So remember that's there too. It's set uh, on overwrite by default. Uh, what I want to look at is this RF tap encapsulation, this custom dissector WPAN. It's going to local host on port 52006. And we'll scroll down here. And I'm going to turn the Osmocom source on and the USRP off. I do actually have a B205 Mini and a HackRF plugged in right now. And so because of that, I'm going to specify in the Osmocom source HackRF equals zero. Samp rate freak, all that should be set according. Uh, they should also have the RX gain, IF gain, and BB gain. And we'll wipe out that LNAH antenna which is for the line. We'll hit apply OK. You can see up at the top, let's see where is it at here, you got SAMP rate. Uh, if you look around it's probably variables, there's the freak, there's your other gain variables. That should be all we need and if you recall I said I put uh, I put my uh, smart hub on channel 12. So you may need to 
adjust the gain. I don't have a light bulb or a smart device connected here to communicate, you know, doing a lot of communication. So there's not going to be that much going on. But I'll take the gain up. You should see a packet or two in the bottom left here. And I'll come back and mess with the gain if I need to here in a minute. Let's go ahead and move forward with getting set up in Wireshark. So we'll do sudo Wireshark and let's see I was messing with filters earlier you, I mean I just was getting rid of the clutter here there's probably a better way to go about it but I just broke it down to UDP I don't want to see the ICMP DNS or MDNS and let's go loop back so we should have our filters and all we should be seeing here is the uh, Zigbee traffic which Go figure. I had a packet. We'll wait a second here. ICMP. Okay, so not a lot of like activity. Uh, this RX gain, if you recall, with the hacker F, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty certain that 0 to 14 turns the amp on. You can see that 0 to 14 will turn that, that amp back on. So you might just need to play around with your gain. Um, obviously, if you had some equipment set up, it's probably going to be a little more active. So let's, let's generate some of our own traffic here. I should just point out. So you know, if you come down in here, you can see more information. You can see that RF tap protocol. see the security header you can see more information so it seems to be working let's open up let's open up uh, also too for comparison we could do sudo wireshark temp open up that sensor pcap because all that information was getting dumped there so we can see we've got the same information there just as a comparison Okay, but let's open up SDR Angel. So I haven't opened up the SDR Angel a lot, but it is an extremely impressive program with lots of plugins and modulators and demodulators. And in this case, I'm going to use a B205 as a sort uh, as a as a sync. I'm going to transmit with it. I'm going to transmit this 802.15.4 and we'll capture it with the hacker F. So if we remember it was 24 10 I believe it was which was channel 12 just to verify 24 10 and we'll go sample rate 4 raise the gain up some and I'll add the modulator here for 802.15 slow it down a little bit I just changed the um, to QPSK now you might see some clipping in SDR Angel that's my setup and, and graphics card and remote desktop here so don't mind that right now that's just my setup we will turn on the radio minimize this a little bit and all I'm gonna do is use the default data that's here which you can highlight it's a series of hex bytes 
I'm going to do it in a continuous loop and I'm going to transmit those frames in real time here which you can see right here if you were to look at it backwards FF EE and you just were to look right there you'd see that that is sending that information across we're capturing it with the hacker F using um, well and feeding it over to Wireshark uh, with that RF tap in real time and everything looks um, pretty good so hopefully hopefully that helps that's using both the um, hacker F some of the GNU radio programs SDR angel and a b205 to make all this happen all right thanks